Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy Angelie, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. If you just joined us, we're talking about an incident that happened in the New York City subway. Uh, a lady was on the subway. A guy approached her with a, a, a bag full of poop and smack poop on her face. Smeared it all over her face and the back of her head. And then ran off. So we're asking 800-585-1051. What's the craziest thing you've seen on the subway? Now, Yee, what about you? Man, you know I take the train a lot, so I've seen all kinds of things. Um, I remember one time when I was in, like, fifth grade, some guy pulled out his penis on the subway. Um, it was very creepy. And I was a child. It was disgusting. And... That's probably the craziest thing I've ever seen. But I've seen all kinds of stuff. I mean, I've seen people naked on the subway. I've seen that Spider-Man person that climbs all up on the um, on the hand, the the things you hold on to, and all mm-hmm. of that. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Yeah, no, I I, I mean, as a as there's a some talent there as too. a teenager, I used to work in the city, and I would have to take the train to the city, and I would see, uh, I would see people peeing on, on the subway train. I would see people uh, people fighting on the subway train. You could see that on the street, too. I, I would see all types of rats on the subway train. I would see people living uh, on the tracks. Like, they would leave, live under, like, where the, the trains go. There's, like, a little area. I would see people living there. Uh, I, I would just, I don't F with the trains, no, at, at all. I, I would rather walk 100 blocks than get on that train. That's just me. That's personally, I don't like it. I don't feel safe. I don't feel comfortable. Um, I've heard too many horror stories of people getting pushed and then they, you know, hit that third rail and they get electrocuted. (laughs) I don't F with the train. That's just me. That's me personally. I'd rather get on a bus than a train. Yeah, the craziest thing I've seen on public transportation personally, uh, probably nothing because, you know, I swore on public transportation a long time ago. All right, actually, the craziest thing I ever seen on public transportation was when I used to have to ride the bus from Fort Lee, New Jersey to New York City, and I looked in the mirror one day. (laughs) <laughs> and I said, I look crazy on this goddamn bus, all right? And and I said, that is going to be one of the reasons that that I make it. Like, I usually, I literally use public transportation as one of the reasons to, like, bust my ass to make it because I knew that was an expense I would have to incur it one day. And that expense was a taxi. I right? don't, you I, know, I really don't mind taking public transportation. That's you. <laughs> you know, my mom works for the New York City Transit Authority, so shout out to her. But I've been taking the train since I was a kid. I still take the train now. Nah. And sometimes it really is the fastest way to get to where you need to go. That might be true. I'd rather take the train and be on that train Listen, for 10 minutes than be in traffic extra, leave for an hour early. and a half. I used, to be, extra early. I used to be on public transportation, uh, especially the bus from Penn Station uh, to Manhattan to, to Jersey back and forth. And all I used to think to myself, one day... I'm going to be able to afford a car <laughs> or a taxi, and I'm going to get off this damn bus, okay? I would rather pay the toll, truthfully. I'm, I'm, just be, I'm And you know why? Because of all of these stories that we're discussing right now. Because <laughs> of all of these things that we see right now. And not only that, when my dad started out, you know, of course, if you don't know, my dad, was he's a retired police officer. When he started out on the police department, his thing was he started out as an undercover on the train. And he used to be, you know, one of those unclothed, you know, un. Uniform police co- police officers that would help people out on the train. And he mm-hmm. used to tell me all types of stories. People getting stabbed. People throwing bleach in somebody's face. He would tell me all these stories. And he told me enough horror stories. Made me not want to take the and train. The way my, I, just, I look at it like stuff can happen anywhere. It could happen walking down the street. You could be in a car. Get in an in accident. You could be in exactly. an Uber. Yes, it can. You could also. Nobody's peeing on me in my car. Uh, somebody I have could ve- shoot your car up. Somebody could try to hit you from the back and steal your car. I have very bad an anxiety. And what Angelie is saying is true. Anything can happen anywhere. But guess what? We all take precautions every Everywhere we go and we take certain safety measures everywhere we go. And if I don't feel safe in a certain place, I'm going to try to avoid that place. And that's what, you know, uh, public transportation has historically been for me. I've gotten fights on the buses. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be there. I love when people um, nope. come to New York and they're like, I never took the train before. Can you? And then we get to ride the train. It's like a. Oh, by the way, when I first moved to New York. And rode the train, and then they started. You started hearing um, about how the next terrorist attack would be on the train mm-hmm. after 9/11. Oh, I was cool with that. Like, nah, I'm cool. Well, I figured out another way. Let's go to the phone lines. Denise, good morning. Good morning. How you feel about public transportation? What's the craziest thing you've seen? Oh man, uh, I'm from Oakland, California. We were in the BART system in downtown Oakland, and the guys started urinating and urinating on me, my friend's foot, her foot, and we whooped his. <laughs> he just started peeing on your foot? Yeah, he started peeing on our foot. Now, this is San Francisco. Come on now. You know how that is. Now, let me ask you a question. After that, did it change your perception of public transportation? Did you say, you know what? I got to figure something else out. Hell yeah, I found a man with a car. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, it's like, like, come on, man. Hello, who's this? Hi, it's Precious from Virginia. Hey, Precious from VA. Now, what's the craziest thing you've seen on public transportation? Well, I am an actual New Yorker, and the craziest hey. thing I've ever seen, I'm going to say this loud because the only time I'm going to say this, I'm almost 40. So this happened when I was like 16 on the one line, coming from a club that I was probably supposed to be in. And we had to stay in like the end of the cart because we were going all the way to Lincoln Center. I used to live in Hell's Kitchen. And me and my cousin Angie was on the train, and we was just, you know, chatting it up. And this homeless guy was on the train, so we paid him no mind. Once he realized we was on a train, he kind of stood up at attention and just started going to town, masturbating in front of us. Mm. Mind you, we had to go all the way to Lincoln Center, so we're on the one line, and we had a couple of stops. And he just kept going the whole time. And you never was like, let me get off this train? You just was like, well, Well, we got to... That's what I love about New Yorkers. We just stay on the train. I never said, let me get off the train, because first of all, I was 16, we were drunk, we weren't supposed to be at this club. And you know, going to Lincoln Center, you have to be in a certain cart because all the exits aren't open. You mm-hmm. know this, Angela. Yep. <laughs> so I had to stay in that cart because that's the only exit. That's the only cart we had to get in to get to where our exit was. So. Let me tell you something. Hello? She's a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. We Lost see all kinds of things happen. We just kind of ignore it and keep it moving. <laughs> that's the problem with New York, though. Like, <laughs> you, you should, if you see something, you should say, say something. something. You know what I mean? That's why, the guy, that's why the guy, what you mean, the who? They on the train. They were 16 years old. 911. There's a guy <laughs> masturbating on the train. That's a, that's lewd in public. Uh, lewd. What do they call it? Lewd behavior. Mm-hmm. Lewd exposing max. yourself and you are exposing yourself to minors. I Get see. his ass locked up. She was 16 and she's 40 now. Like think about that dude that used to stand in front of the 4040 all the time masturbating. Why nobody ever called the police? See, you didn't call the police, but you tell her to call the police. You mean the same guy that's been up here? Oh, I didn't know he was that up here. I told y'all about and I showed y'all the pictures. I didn't know he was up here. I told y'all he was up here. Don't stop. Yes, you did. And New York City really New York City really should have a better train system. You would think with all the people that ride the train, all the money that's spent, they would look better. They would be safer. You know what I mean? Like there should be something comfortable for people to ride on. Well, like well, you know, like when you ride the train from DC to Well, you know why? Because why? it's it's in urban areas, they don't care about urban areas. But when you go from suburbia to the city, they have the Long Island Railroad where they have security, oh, yeah, you're they have right. food. It's, it's even the caucus is nice. See, I'm so, I know everybody out of out of. I think it's New just York, a lot Jersey, more congested, so it's not as easy. A lot more people take the New York City subway than you know these other modes of, of transit. What they got to do with them making it nice though? I think they try, but it's hard when you have millions of people every day going back and forth on And they there. make hundreds of millions of dollars. Planes so that, are nice and there's hundreds of millions or of people traveling all day long. <laughs> like, yes. I don't know. It's super congested. Sometimes you can't even get on there because it's so crowded. But and, I would say this. I've taken the train my whole life, and I've never had anything happen to me. Thank God. Yeah, but a millions of people have. Though. 585 We're asking, what's your craziest public transportation stories? Call us now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. i tell you another, one of the craziest things I've seen on public transportation. Y'all mm-hmm. remember Marta Girl? Mm-mm. Y'all remember Marta Girl from Atlanta back in the day? Marta Girl. One no. of the oh, first yeah, yeah. viral I moments. I remember that. <laughs> when she was on the train. <laughs> oh, where is Marta Girl dog. now, man? What is she doing with her life? All right. Well, <laughs> let's go to another line. We have, uh, oh, Trav. Trav's on the line. Trav. Come hey, on, Trav. Trav. Here. What's up? <laughs> hey, I want to talk to someone. When we talk about getting on the L, right, is there certain cities that you don't want to get on the L on? Like Philadelphia is one of them. Because you're always trying to avoid crazy. Yeah. Whatever you get on the L in Philadelphia. There was this man, one time I was getting on, he was literally spreading his butt cheek and trying to throw doo-doo and pee on people. Now, Trav, so he was mooning you, Trav. Yeah, he was mooning people. Like, he, was, he wasn't mooning me. He, he, might, mooning he knew what you was into, Trav. <laughs> he heard you call the breakfast club a bunch of times. He knew what you was into. He's like, oh, that's Trav. That's Trav. I already know what time it is. Butt cheek spread <laughs> on command. <laughs> Now, I'm so serious, though. Like, you literally always trying to avoid it. The last time I was on the L, I was going to be Taylor for the Andrew Schultz comedy show. And she was waiting for me for, like, an hour because this person was trying to stab people on the platform. And they wouldn't let the train move. Well, let me ask you a question, Trav. Do you, why do you, you ride public transportation because you want to or because it's just the fastest? Like, why? Uh, I ride it because it, it, it's just so hard to park in Philly, man. Like, there's really, like, no parking in Philly. And also... I got so many tickets in Philadelphia. Oh, you can't bring, you can't bring your car out there because they'll tow it. Why not call Uber? Yeah, they, 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 they literally put a boot on my car. Why, why not call Uber? It's expensive. Hey, Uber, man, Uber in Philly is expensive, man. It's like New York. Yeah, Uber expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. Uber's Sometimes expensive. I try to call the Uber somewhere. I'll be like, I'm going to just get on the train. I'm not paying yeah, Uber, $60. Uber's definitely I'm expensive. Gonna, I'm going to say one more thing to y'all before I leave, man. Then I'm going to drop off. Mm-hmm. iPhone Sim is a hater, bro. 
I'm gonna leave it like what that. What happened with no iPhone lie. Sim now? He a hater, bro. He a hater. What he do? And I be waking up minding my business. I be minding my business, and he a hater. iPhone Sim hasn't called up here in months. What yeah, I haven't heard from iPhone Sims in a while. And he, and he be bothering me on my, my, my Instagram, my DM. Hey, uh, maybe flirting. He DMs you? Maybe he wants you to spread your butt cheeks like y'all on the train. <laughs> <And> who <laughs> him? Goodbye. Bye, y'all. Oh, man, I know iPhone's about to call in three seconds. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Lee. Hey, Lee, what's the craziest thing you've seen on public transportation? All right, so I'm from Philly. We were at Sephardy, and when I used to go back and forth to high school, it used to be like piles of crack kids underneath the train just smoking crack. Any time of day, early in the morning, after school, just piled up wherever the trains run, just smoking crack. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Hello, who's this? Hey, Breakfast Club, what's going on? This Cliff from the Bull City. What what's up? up, bro? What's the craziest thing you've seen what on public much, transportation, man. brother? Man, the craziest thing I've seen, man, my first time in New York about seven years ago, I was sitting on the train, it's probably about three o'clock in the morning, and um, these two women, they got into it. So we get off on the next stop, and the guy was like, oh, I got to see what's going on. We're going up the escalator, and this girl looked back at him. She said, what you smiling at? And they proceed to dump soda all on this man for no reason. Dang. He goes up to the little store at the end. He said, let me get two orange sodas. And he finds the girl, and he just drowns them with the soda. What? So they had a soda fight. Start, yes, they start to fight him. And then um, he comes at one of the girls. She pulls out a little bottle of bleach. And she throws it in his face. See what oh I'm my saying? Gosh. He comes back. His friend is looking. He has a drawstring bag with a gun in it, looks like. Oh, boy. Everybody starts running. I'm just in disbelief as to what's happening my first time in New York. And then her and the guy oh go back goodness. at it again. The second time she said, you think I'm playing, she pulls a kitchen knife out. See? I'm like, where is she getting all this stuff? <laughs> she had bleach, kitchen knives, all bleach, types of stuff. kitchen knife. Man, it was a wild experience, man. Crazy. I remember one time before I was up. living up here in New York, uh, like, well, no, I matter of fact, I got uh, fired and I went back to South Carolina, but I was up here, and I was up here for Halloween and didn't know it was Halloween. Mm -hmm. And I got on that goddamn train, mm. and I really thought I had died and went to hell until it dawned on me that, that this was Halloween? motherfucking Halloween. Nah, New York is, I, I, don't, I just don't do the trains. Hello, who's this? Yo, this is Marissa from Chicago. Marissa from the Shy. What's the craziest thing you've seen on public transportation? I actually saw a dead body on the train before. Oh, my gosh. How you know he was dead and not drunk and oh, sleep. not sleeping, yeah. I fell asleep on trains before. It's a funny story because I was getting out, I was coming home from school, and it was a lady that I was like, I think that man dead. And when we looked at him, it was cold outside. So, you know, in Shy, get real cold. The um, snot from his nose was frozen. And then when they called the paramedics, the paramedics pushed him, and he acted like he was like a dime that he had just feared kept going back and forth. He acted like he was a what? A dime. Like, you know how you drop a coin? Oh, 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 so oh. So he wasn't dead? He was dead. He was still. Rick and Morty said he oh. Oh who, who, who called the police, y'all? Uh, I, I didn't. I had made it up to, like, five minutes before the police got there. Oh, okay, okay. A dead body. All right. Thank you, Mama. That's, a, that's yeah. That, I've heard that happen before. All right. Well, what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is everybody got to do what they feel comfortable with. Everybody got to do what makes them feel safe. I spend every day trying to avoid crazy. It's a lot of crazy on public transportation. Therefore, I avoid public transportation. I work hard. All right? And public transportation was my motivation. One of my motivations when I was younger. Didn't want to do that. So, thank God I don't have to. Yeah, some people don't have an option right now, so they got. You're right. They got to do what they got to do. Yeah, I ain't doing it. I'm sorry. You yeah. better. You don't have to. Thank God. I just. Oh my gosh. Ah. Anyway.